Thumbnail time. Um, let me. So anyway, what's up, gentlemen? It's your girl United Lee Random, and today I'm gonna get United Lee and Random with you. Now, for those who don't know, I've been talking about losing weight for a while, okay? And the problems that come with me with the idea of wanting to lose weight is I'm afraid of starting that loop of insanity, okay? As an adult, I've never really had a diet stuck to it. That's just all around the board. There's not a lot of things that I've done and stuck to. YouTube is kind of one of those things that I stuck to, but even then, you can see how a girl can be really inconsistent. Well, I asked for help, which would be the video, like I made a video last night and I was wearing the same things. I, I thought about changing for continuity reasons, like, but no, I put the same, I took a shower and put the same thing back on. So anyway, um, right now it is uh, Wednesday, June 21st, 2023. And I am supposed to go meet with a personal trainer today. I'm not working out today. I'm just gonna give him my money today. Um, this new guy, he seems really sweet. I've never had a personal trainer before. Um, so, I'm hoping that, no, I know that through working out with him and getting more comfortable uh, with working out, I can change my life. Okay, so um, we're gonna do a mukbang today and I'm just gonna talk about my thought process with weight loss right after this intro. Like, oh, it was so long, I'm so sorry, I ramble. If you're new, I ramble. Um, it was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. And we're back! <laughs> I just paused and stared at the camera for so long. Like, um, so this is what I got for breakfast slash lunch today. Um, there's a eatery place near me, um, that does salads and they also do sandwiches and they're so supposed to be super healthy kind of expensive but considering i binge eat and spend a lot of money binge eating it's okay like if i show you how much money i've spent since i've moved to where i am how much money i spent on food alone you'd be like mm, you don't really need to spend that much money however i have so that's the reality of everything i think i do want to show you guys how much i spent on food though because i'm curious about it myself and if i'm gonna do the you know research behind the scene i might as well share it with you guys you know what i mean so what i got this is a salad but it's not like any other salad. This is a rice. This is a mixed veggie salad. This is not a rice salad. I thought I ordered a rice salad, but this is a mixed veggie salad, okay? We have chicken, we have beef, we have other things. Um, I've noticed we have grains like we have like oats on here like oats from oatmeal um, we have some yams and some pumpkin that's what I noticed and healthy foods over here you're gonna have some pumpkins and some yams I guess it's to help you make like help make you feel full I don't know but anyway what had happened was the other day I had a friend come back to the area that I'm in. Now, I told you guys a little bit about him yesterday or like, I don't know, last week, <laughs> whenever this video comes out. I told you guys a little bit about him. He came, I needed help, we ordered a maid. We're getting my life together, okay? I just need, sometimes I just need a little assistance, need to ask for help, okay? So he came and I was like, okay, so, when he first came to me, I know that I spent a lot of time with him in the past talking about the desire to kind of want to go work out, the desire to kind of want to go to the gym. And I kept trying to bring someone with me to the gym so I could see how much it costs and everything. Because, you know, 
I don't speak the language here. So, ooh, I'm making a mess. So, um, did not end up going to the gym. I made all of these promises to this guy. Not even promises. I was just like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change this. I'm going to act a certain way, right? So, the certain way that I said I wanted to act is I wanted to save money. So, I was going to stop eating out. I was only going to spend a certain amount of money a, a month. Did I do that? No. I did not do that at all. As soon as the month was over, um, I spent that much amount of money that I said I was going to spend for the entire month. I spent that in one day. I didn't spend some money. Mm -hmm. I tell, this, tell myself, it's all things that I need and stuff like that. I got a walking machine. It's over there. I don't really use it, but I got a walking machine. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I can still use it. It's like, it's in my house, so it's there, you know, might as well. You know, I hop on it every once in a while. I'm so sorry. My first time eating today. Also, the way they do these sandwiches at this healthy place, very interesting. I'll show you in a minute the cross section. Okay, are you ready? This is a tuna sandwich. Two slices of bread. One slice of the bread has purple potato. And then we have a tomato. Then we have some lettuce. Then we have a chunk of tuna. A fried egg. And some white potato. And that is squished between another piece of bread. So there's a bunch of cross sections to this. When I first ordered this, this isn't my first time ordering the tuna sandwich. I thought it was going to be like tuna salad. No, this is a tuna sandwich. Which I kind of want tuna salad, to be honest. So I got a vinaigrette spicy uh, dressing to go with my uh, salad. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that on there and continue to talk. So yeah. Friend came over. I talked to him before in the past about changes I want to make. Did I make any of those changes? No, I did not make any of those changes. So he came and he called me out on it. He was like, did you make any of the changes you said you were going to make? Sir, accountability partner? Is that you? I looked at him like, I felt personally offended. Don't call me out on my shit. But he was right. I didn't make any of those changes. So I was like, okay. And yesterday, he called me out on my shit again because I was eating. And I was like, mm, I'm so full. And he was like, how are you full? You can control how much food you eat. Excuse you. So... He made me mad, but I still fucks with him. He's he's honest. He's not malice. Like some people, you know if they malice. He's not malice. But he do be trying me sometimes. Like I won't take him to the Atlanta. Give him an Atlanta beat down. Hmm. But anyway. I guess this is a mukbang. 
I don't know what people really do for. Oh, oh, that's spicy. Got a little spicy. Mm. I was telling a story. I didn't really tell the story. I guess this is a filler episode, you know what I'm saying? But me you on. Know, and we can eat together. I get distracted by food. Not even gonna lie. I was like, mm, we're gonna do a video. I was like, oh, I'm gonna tell you so much. This and this and that. Get food in front of me. Mmm. 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 I don't be mixing my salads. You know what type of. One thing I don't like. Pepper beef. My taste buds are too unrefined for this. I just do not like it. It's one of those things you eat and you're like, why do people like this? Like, I know we all have something that we tried and we're like, okay, what is this? Why do people like this? I can't understand it. Like, I know taste buds are different, but what is this? Y'all like this? <gasps> I just got my tables clean. What is this? Do y'all like this? Pepper beef. It doesn't be spicy for no reason. I'd rather eat a pepper. Why is this, the dog on pepper here so spicy? Talking about my exercise. Move, babe. Get out the way. I'm supposed to be going to sign up. I don't know how much it'll cost, but the exercise man is really nice. And I'll make another video talking about this. I will make another video talking about this at a later date because this is my bomb. It's not really informative. It really isn't. You just hear me crunch on some salad. I'm still gonna post the video though. Mm -hmm. Tell y'all right now. It can be a dud. For me, I'm okay with my videos being duds. Cause YouTube. I do, but I don't see it's not that I don't ever see myself growing, but I don't see myself growing right now. So for me, I'm very comfortable with just posting whatever. And honestly, if I could grow with just posting whatever, I'd be happy with that. That'd be what I want. And you call myself United Random, so. Maybe next time I do a mukbang, I could do like one of those like role playing mukbang. And I'd be like, hey girl, tell me about your dad. Mm. Mm hmm. I do one of those. Ah, right, that would be fun. Ah, oh. so spider. This is 
and filled it. This is all this beef up. I don't like that beef. I was trying to eat it. I was trying to eat it. Because I like meat. But I don't like that beef. Mm -mm -mm. You know, last time I went to the doctor, they said I was pre-diabetic. I'm not super healthy. So I was like, ah, that makes sense. And I do consume a lot of sugars. I think the American diet can make you pre-diabetic. That's someone's opportunity to be like, not the American diet, your diet. You are the problem. Okay. Yesterday, I was with that friend that called me out. He was like, why are you, why are you so full? You control if you eat. First, I was like, I was really upset. Like, angry even in that immediate moment. But I had to, oh, but. Why are you upset? What he said isn't wrong. I think mean, part of me wanted to be like, you don't know what you're like you're talking about. You don't like you don't understand me. It's because I know I'm not special. There's other people that are similar to me or like me. But I had an issue with being able to tell if I was hungry. So I got into the habit of eating around the time that I should eat. Even now, I didn't necessarily feel hunger earlier today. I felt like I should eat something. And then, when the food was in front of me, y'all saw how I was digging in? I guess I was hungry. I also think I was craving some type of vitamin the other day. My body was like, I want something. I could have been just thirsty, you know? I'm full. Popcorn. I'm going to the movies today. I'm gonna to go see uh, Spider Man. I kept asking people to go see it with me. Nobody wants to see Spider Man. They're like, this is a child's movie. It's not gonna be funny. I'm not gonna I was like, okay. I kept asking because I was like, I don't want to go see the movie by myself. Fuck that. Go see the movie by yourself, Aaliyah. You're a big girl. I want to tell myself. So, I go 
to the gym. I signed up with the guy today. And then after that, I can go to the movies and watch my movie. That is my goal. That is my plan. For today. And also clean up after myself. After everything I do, that's also a plan. And continue to live that way. And let's see where life brings us. This was a very random video. As you can see, I didn't necessarily plan what I was going to say, but we are where we are. This is my living room, by the way. Um, and also, in the future, I want to do this puzzle steer light on the camera. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, you must have seen when I went to go see the Da Vinci. Uh, da Vin this is Da Vinci, right? <laughs> I went to go see Da Vinci's um, museum, you know? And I was like, okay, Da Vinci's museum, I want to make... Like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I'm going to buy it. It's kind of expensive, but I'm happy that I bought it. The Da Vinci's Museum. Mm. I haven't put a puzzle together, like, in my entire life. So, I've been wanting to put puzzles together, and so, I was telling someone, like, my preferred partner, someone I can put a puzzle together with, you know, like, little, little silly things. I want to put a puzzle together with someone, and we can put Mod Podge on it and put it up on the wall. I want, like, little things like that, you know, but we'll see what the future brings. Anyway, thanks for coming and sitting with me. If you sat with me, if you played me in the background while you were on break, thank you. This really does help the channel. And I just want to say I'm very thankful for you to be here. Um, I guess now more than ever, I just want whoever who is still here to know that you are a vital piece of this wheel, cog wheel. You're the wheel in this cog, in this, I don't know. You're very important. That's what I want you to know. You are very important. One, no one's going to love you more than you love yourself. So you better look yourself in the mirror and let you know, let yourself know. Okay. Let me, let me make sure that's, you better look yourself in the mirror and let yourself know that you are that bitch. Uh, three, um, fuck doing it for other people. Do it for yourself. You are number one. Everyone else is number 10, okay? Because you're number one through nine. <laughs> and I hope to see you again. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And much love and positive vibes. That used to be my thing. Bye-bye. <laughs>